In this video, we're going to look at ideas for transforming your clothes that are in your existing wardrobe. We've all gone through our wardrobes and closets and thought, mm, I really love that piece, but it's just looking tired. It might have a rip or a hole in it. It may have a stain, but you still want to get some wear out of it. So we're going to go through some ideas here, starting with this blouse. With this particular blouse, we have an all over print, which is really pretty, but I have added some interest by stitching down individually beads and sequins using a machine or a cotton um, or polyester uh, sewing thread and a fine needle just to stitch down each bead individually. And I've gone all the way around the collar there. Jeans we get a lot of wear out of and we can really um, add interest to jeans by stitching on pockets. And what we've used here is just a cotton floss. We've used all six strands of the floss and the needle to create this nice um, pattern here. Down the seam of the jeans. We've worked a pattern along here as well. And even on the cuff of these turn or these turn ups have there we go, an embroidered cuff. You may have a printed item or an item with a um, a pattern on and you want to give that some interest so here this is a relatively new top that we, I, I have and I've added some um, uh, some running stitch little eyelet stitch there to give that some interest maybe your item has holes in it this was one of my daughter's tops and she did get a hole in it and I've added more and then I stitched just coming up in the fabric down into the hole and repeating round and round and round and then just tying off on the back. I've decorated the holes, they won't grow any larger, but they get a pretty kind of eyelet pattern over the t-shirt. Maybe you have a tie that has a spill or a mark on it, or it's just something that you want to give uh, a little personalized um, detail to. So this one I have stitched with satin stitch, a K on there. A little while ago we did a project um, about healing and here we have uh, one of those words written on an old sweatshirt and just in backstitch we've actually backstitched through no regrets and when we open this up we're using cotton floss again there's just a little knot holding the floss so it won't unravel when it goes in the machine and most of these dye lots that you're using are machine washable as and in color fast as well but you might want to test that before you go washing your clothes. This is a bought item, but again, it just shows you the idea, especially if you're a cross stitcher, just doing a little cross stitch pattern on a linen cloth. Again, another bought piece. And I wanted to show you this one just so you can see that you can give a plain top some detail by stitching a pattern on with beads. Now maybe you have items that have really worn away. So for instance, this was a cuff to a t-shirt and it, and it got badly damaged. And what you can do with this, I've got a top here that has um, a sleeve to it where we can create um, a new sleeve by cutting out around the applique here and then you can just tack on to the side of the new sleeve and create a little cap sleeve with that detail. Maybe you collect buttons. So here's a swatch where we've used buttons to work flowers. And I collect many, well, I've got many, many, many um, vintage buttons. And this is a dress skirt and sleeves that I've added buttons to the green applique lace on here just to give it a bit of sparkle and interest on an otherwise quite flat dress. Denim again there's a lot we can do with denim so here I have a pair of overalls one of my children and here I'm just showing how you can whip the top stitching with a contrasting thread if you go underneath every stitch or every other stitch you can create a rope effect on a pair of jeans you can work it up any seam whether it's children's or adult denim and the more 
um, contrasting your thread colours are, they'll really pop. Another thing you can do with um, denim is if you have collections of ribbons, you can add ribbons to the piece just by tucking them down as a band, pocket cover. And here I have a t-shirt that got damaged by one of my kids, um, big, big stains on it. And I've cut it up because the applique is really quite lovely. And so I can cut this out and being all jersey fabric, I can then apply it and patch to a garment. Again, just by using tiny little stab stitches to hold it in place. This project is one I did for my daughter where I stitched on her baby onesies as she grew um, through her first year of life. And I added little embroidered seams uh, that, coinc uh, that kind of matched the month. So here we have October with Halloween and the pumpkins. And then around the winter time, December. And I went all the way through until she turned one and I did a birthday design for her here. Now what I'm going to do with those is take them off the onesies and I'm actually going to stitch them to a brand new bed cover that she's going to be getting. You may have linens that you've collected over the years and you're wondering what to do with them. So here I have another one of my daughter's dresses. It's got a little applique already on it. And I have this one piece of a collar that I could stitch that around to make a pretty detail on a dress. Also, I have just one of these small little napkins and if I fold it over and I can either machine or hand stitch around the edge here, just all the way along the seam here and here, I can create a little pocket. So you can add pretty details to garments in that way. I have vintage pieces of white work that have been very very damaged so this is actually from a victorian dressing gown and as you can see it's quite fragile here but what i have done in the past is i've dyed this cotton fabric in the um, machine with machine dyes and created uh, lovely new colors and especially when the color takes to this cotton it comes out really nicely and then you can create inserts on garments or you can add it as a hem detail so there's an idea for using up very old pieces that might have been damaged. And again, this is a part of a handkerchief that was cut up for another project. And again, you could make pockets to stitch onto a garment or you could dye them as well and add them to another garment. Also along the children's line, but you could do this um, on other t-shirts, is using other fabrics to create appliques and just simple stitching, straight stitches, back stitches, lazy daisy. And on here we have, um, this is again a mock-up, so not an actual garment, but we have lace, we have um, ribbons, we've added some stitching in here and beads. And these are mock-ups of t-shirt ideas, just if you might have a holiday coming along and you've got a plain t-shirt in your wardrobe and you want to create something for a holiday but without spending all that money. We've got denim, other um, sequins and stars here that have been applied, a little bit of um, ribbon. And you can have fun with that. Here are some onesies that I have stitched on using other t-shirts that um, were damaged. So I've cut them up and I've created a little lion here. He roars on the back. And we have our big elephant front. And you can also add details to the back of a garment. Using plain embroidery uh, stitches or basic embroidery stitches to decorate a piece. Here we have a small little tank top where I've just stitched pattern of flowers and on this one I've applied this is again a mock-up but I've applied a little denim and then just stitched a pirate scene island going around that. You may be 
able to paint on an item. So fabric paints are great for creating little details. This is painted on denim. Again, some straight stitches here just to give a fluffy effect to the little bear. This one's been painted again on a mock-up here, but with sequins added for a bit of sparkle. And the fabric um, is actually a sparkle fabric paint as well. You may use the machine and see here are some ideas <coughs> for machining. Again, I've used old t-shirts, dresses, and I've cut them up and I have applied them and then machined around with these and added little um, buttons for detail. What about those knitted items in your wardrobe? Well, here I have an old Gap sweater, which I have added uh, felt to, nice wool felt, and then some Chanel thread, a wool on here as well, and some beads and sequins in for a little detail there. But you may have a plain garment with a knit, and you can use Appleton wools, um, uh, knitting wools and yarns to stitch on top. And this is a rather great book that we carry in our shop, Embroidery on Knitting. And it gives you great ideas for adding to a knitted piece. So the plainer, the better. You can really um, create wonderful patterns on. But even on a pre-existing pattern piece, you can add a lot of fun detail. You also may have little pieces that you've collected over the years or you've come by. So lace and um, like this piece here, we've got beading with lace. We've got lace swatches from um, an old store closing down. And these are great. You can cut them out and then apply these to a garment and just by using tiny little stitches around to hold it down. We have the beaded piece here. Again, you can cut out, leave a little salvage edge to the fabric, stitch that down. And then you may want um, a, a, a thread that comes around and couches around the edge there just so it hides your join. And this piece, um, I can't remember where I got this from actually, but uh, I've added a ribbon. So very simple, just added a ribbon. And then where you wear it over a plain top as a neck piece, it gives a rather lovely detail. Finally, I'm going to show you something you can do with shoes. So here we have two pairs of shoes. And on these ones, I have purchased these pre-stitched little um, appliques here made with metal thread and a little um, Velcro on the back. And on the top of this shoe, I can interchange to different um, pieces of uh, designed elements on there and on this pair I have buttons that I've stitched with tiny little beads for a bit of detail there as well. So all these ideas you can use for decorating your garments, you can have a lot of fun with it using what you have in your stash, um, keeping it quite simple, having a lot of fun. And if you have any questions, please just ask us and you can email us at info at sfsnad.org.